this is the I think fourth game where I'm using the Poisson football model to predict what I expect is going to happen and basically see how well it does. The main difference here is that I'm looking at the over and under bets. So before I was looking at seeing how good it was at predicting whether a team was going to win, draw or lose. Here we're looking at the goals. On Betfair I can just say over under and it lists, lists the games and the odds for the over and unders. And I'm just going to take the first three. So that's Brighton Man United, Stoke Palace, Bournemouth Swansea. Same old procedure. I get the data from soccer stats. Um, go to the goals and scored conceded. Then you can you know get the average rate sc scored by the each team at home and away and so on. And then we just plug those into the R program. So for example, this is supposed to be Bournemouth. We just plug in the numbers and these are the results we get from the simulations. So it generates 100,000 games with the probabilities based on what the average rates were for both sides. And this is what it expects to happen. So in this case, I'm interested in the goals. And okay, so two or more goals, that's nearly 70%. So I'd be willing to back two or more goals. It's not that clear on the three or more. So it's close enough to 50% that I wouldn't be jumping in to say it's going to be under. But it's not high enough to bet it's going to be over. So for Bournemouth, Swansea, I'd go two or more goals. For Brighton Man United, again, two or more goals is nearly 80%. Three or more is nearly 60 So I'd actually, I'd, I'd actually go for three or more here. I think nearly 60, I mean, I suppose it's, un, it's unfair if I'm not going under when it's at 43 and, and I'm willing to go over when it's 57. Um, yeah, there's a point there. So m maybe you could do two or more, but I, I'm going to go with three or more. And finally, for Stoke Palace, I'm going to go two or more. I could go under. I mean, that's 34%. Because I think the odds were basically double your money. So they're both possibilities. In fact, yeah, I'll go for both. We're going to have two or more. Well, actually, the clearer signal is under, th under three. So I'm going to go under. So that's those are the three predictions for using the Poisson model. So this one is under the Man United Stoke. I'm going to go for two. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, 57,000, 57%, 57%, it, it's, it's okay to go for over. I mean, to say there's going to be three or more goals. But the clearer signal is the two or more. So I'm going to go for two or more Man United and the Brighton and two or more in the Bournemouth game. Now we just have to look at the just base data. And we basically get a similar picture. So Brighton have less than three goals. You know, that's only 44% of the time they have three or more goals. So 
um, it's not very compelling. While Man United away have 53. So you can see why the odds are about 2. But they have 2 or more goals 70% of the time. So um, it matches with the puzzle. For Stoke Palace, well, that's over 50. So maybe 3 or more. And Palace, 44%. So again, I, I wouldn't... If, if anything, maybe back uh, two or more. And you can do the same for uh, the Bournemouth Swansea. Let's check, what was it again? Yeah, Bournemouth Swansea. There's nothing really kicking and screaming or uh, um, the, the bed of the century or anything like that. I'd also be kind of cautious at the moment because it's the end of the season. So there is nothing to play for for many teams. You know, so I mean if you if you're if you look at the table here, you know, I mean if you're Bournemouth, you're not you're not you're not going to get relegated and you're not going to win it, win anything. Likewise Palace, you survived. Brighton have something to play for. I mean, um, they are safe. I mean, I, I, I'd be. It'd be incredible if they, um, fell if they got knocked out. Man United. They're safe. I mean, they're not going to win the league, so there's nothing to. They're not. Their their focus is on the FA Cup. Liverpool is total focus on the Champions League. These two have something to play for, but kind of. So Chelsea would want to beat Liverpool. Maybe they can get into the top four in Champions League, but highly unlikely. I mean, so they're they're more going to be also thinking about the FA Cup. So that's the picks for this weekend. I don't know whether I mean I'll do one more before the end of the, end, end of the season but in a way I I prefer to come back to this maybe next year when the when the when we have proper games you know when 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 it's not the end of the season so I don't really know you know so like if Man United were competing for the title and this was the run in and they were going to be playing Brighton I'd be very confident that Man United would win I would you know they would they would be in full flow and maybe beat them three nil. You know that they 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 it's it, they're such a st stronger side, but given that it's near the end of the season, you more don't want to you know injure a player. They're kind of thinking about oh the World Cup's coming up, and they have an FA Cup. So you know, the, these last few games are. I mean, the, the players are essentially on holidays only you know these teams who are fighting for relegation so that that, that they're, they're gonna have intense matches so you know that i don't know whether the how the how the puzzle model is supposed to capture that so that that's why i'm you know i'm, I'm not as i don't know whether i can even use these matches I mean, whether they mean anything. But I'll do it uh, this weekend and one more. So at least we have the five matches and we can see, you know, how they did.